Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get your use tax to show up in your pay sales tax window in QuickBooks. But before I do, I want a word of warning. This is a workaround that is not good for every company, so please talk to your accountant before you decide to make these changes to your QuickBooks file. Alright, the first thing you're going to have to do is create some new items. First item that you're going to need to create is a use tax item. It's a sales tax item is the type of item. We're going to call it use tax and the description is use tax on items purchased out of state or via the internet. Because for most states if you buy items the out of state or via the internet they will not charge you sales tax. When a vendor does not charge you sales tax most states require that you remit to them a use tax. This use tax percentage is usually a different amount than your sales tax for your state. So look up your use tax rate and put that right here in the, t in the tax rate. And the tax agency is the name of the agency in your state that you have to pay your use, ta use tax to. After that item is set up, you're going to want to set up a reversing item sold. This is going to be an other charge item. This one's a little bit tricky. Other charge item, we're going to call it reversing item sold a non-taxable item and in the account even though it's an other charge we want to code it to an income account. Generally you want to pick the account that the items that you buy from these vendors who don't charge you sales tax um, if they are in this case a pool cover or equipment sales and that's where I would record them if I sold those items that's the account I want to pick here. The next item that you're going to create is use tax expense item. This is an other charge as well. We're calling it use tax expense. It's a non-taxable item. And this time I created a new account called use tax expense in the cost of goods sold next to m the materials that I usually purchase. This is just to keep the use tax separate. You could code it right to materials if you wanted to. You don't have to create another account for it. I'm doing it to make it easy for us to see um, what's going on in this video. If you do not already have a subtotal item, you're going to want to create one of those too. Subtotal item. Alright, now let's see how this works. First we'll take a look at how our sales tax liability report looks now. Our sales tax, tax liability right now says that we haven't collected any sales tax and nothing is due. So if we go into vendors, sales tax, pay sales tax window, nothing shows up because and there's nothing on the report. So the report agrees with this window nothing is due, there's nothing there. Alright, and what about our profit and loss statement? Let's just take a look at it for a minute. Let's take a look at sales. Right now they're 101375.50 and our materials are 9232.25 there's no use tax count in here. Nothing there. Alright, let's um, Oh, one more thing that I forgot to tell you. You need to create a customer for yourself, your own company. The customer's name is the name of your company. I'm using the sample manufacturing file and so my customer name is sample manufacturing. And then in the additional info tab, down here under the sales tax information, the tax item that we're going to use is use tax because we're going to charge ourselves for the use tax because we're the ones who have to pay the use tax we hit OK. Now we can create our invoice. Create our invoice. This invoice is going to go to us, Sample Manufacturing Company. And we are going to buy, uh, I don't know, 10 items of this test part. But now over here, the price that automatically pops up, as you're aware, is your sales price. We didn't buy them at our sales price. We have to record the price that we actually paid for these items, our, per our cost. And now let's get five of another one here. And again, we have to change the price to what our actual cost is. Now we're going to subtotal this invoice so far to see what we have. Oh, wrong button, subtotal. There we go. So right now, $175. We are going to reverse that out. Reverse the item sold because we didn't sell any items, right? So one subtract out $175. Now what we're left with, if you see down here, is the use tax of 5%. But we need to record that in our income statement and we do that by using the item use tax expense. Negative 
we're going to put in negative 875. What this does is gives us a zero due invoice. The balance due on this invoice is zero. We do not owe ourselves anything. Save and close this invoice and now let's take a look at what it did. Pull cover equipment sales, that's the exact same amount. The sales did not change. I double clicked on it so we could see the detail. You see sample manufacturing right here. This is the invoice we just created. It went in and then we it went right back out so it did not affect our sales. Okay and what about here under materials the use tax expense shows up so we can know right now how much use tax that we're going to owe if just by looking here because I created this separate account you don't have to. You could have put it right here in materials other. Materials other is where 175 that was the subtotal of the invoice that is um, the items that we purchased, the cost of those items, which we need to expense right there, 175 need to be expensed so that our income statement is correct. And now let's take a look at the sales tax liability report. Now we owe this 875 and if we were to going to pay that we'd have to go to vendors, sales tax, pay sales tax, and now in this window when we go to the right period it shows us that we owe use, ta use tax of $8.75. So now we can pay our use tax and not have to forget about it. This is a lot of steps to go through and um, hopefully QuickBooks will come up with an easier way to do this and like I said at the beginning of this video this is not the this is just a workaround. It is not the only workaround. It really depends on what's right for your business. So talk to your accountant about it. Thank you very much for watching.